Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm going to be casting another 2v2 match for you. And this one is going to be on Tarsonis Assault, and this will be another game with the same... Oh, no, it's not, because it's Illmatic, the Red Zerg, and Protec will be the Blue Protoss, but their opponents will be the same team as last time. It will be Sorcery, the Teal Protoss, and Megamix Bear, the Purple Zerg, so... All the race, all the races are changing up right now. We have Mega Mix Bear will now be on Zerg. I've only seen him play Terran. Sorcery will be switching to Protoss, and Protec will be Protoss. Probably his least casted, least broadcast race by me. And um, <laughs> Illmatic, Illmatic will be on Zerg as usual. And so I wanted to clarify something. Last game I was talking about how Protec and Mad Winner had lost a bunch of games. Um, to uh, to Aristeo and Qbert, who are apparently like the most ridiculous 2v2 team ever on the European server. And uh, I was saying uh, some of the teams they beat, actually it was Azide and Mindset who they beat, and it was Sorcery and Rush who they beat, and they beat Protec and Madwinner a few times. So I would love to get my hands on some of those replays. I will try my best for you guys to get my hands on some of those um, and which reminds me, you guys, any of you out there, <laughs> you guys have heard me say this a bunch of times, any of you out there who are high level Team StarCraft players, please, 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 please send me your games. Because I'm having so much fun casting these crazy intense matchups. And it's been so much fun. And, and thank you guys all who have been watching my stuff. And especially those of you who have been commenting. I, I love reading um, all of the comments that you guys post. So keep up with that. I'm doing my best at casting and I'm doing my best at trying to promote the channel a little bit because I know some of you guys who have been, uh, I know a lot of you guys who have been casting in these games have been watching some of them and I bet you guys would like to get a little bit more pub, wouldn't you? So I'm doing my best. Once this, this new, um, once this new chat system comes online in the, in the next version, I have a feeling that that is going to really help out my channel because I will be able to bug people on chat about watching my videos and I will be able to bug all you high level players for your replays as Illmatic Zerglings are now in the base for Sorcery and they are going straight after this pylon. The problem is there's another pylon back here that will keep that powered but he would be supply blocked and right now this pylon is going to go down. The Zealot is out. But not, but the, the pylon did go down. Megamix Bear bringing in some Zerglings to try and ward that back. But the damage has been done. At least Illmatic doing is slowing down Sorcery. And every little bit of damage and every amount of time that you can keep probes off of the middle line at the very early stage of the game makes a huge difference. As you see, Sorcery is still supply locked. Just now that uh, pylon finished, so he is no longer supply locked. Um, actually, I think he was able... If you saw that Stalker just came out now for Sorcery, I think he actually was able to start making that Stalker right before the pylon originally died. And if the unit has already begun building, like if the if the bar here is already starting to fill up, as we see the Overlord being shot down right now, if the bar is uh, starting to fill up and then you get Supply Locked, the unit will finish. So you don't have to worry about that. So that is that was pretty clutch of Sorcery to get that Stalker out right or get that Stalker started right before the pylon went down though at the same time taking that pylon down did put him in a bit of a bind so nicely done there by Illmatic it looks like he's gonna try and run his speedlings now around the side and um, get a flank attack or try and run right by he is gonna see these bailing just finishing for Megamix Bear one of them blowing up about five Zerglings there Illmatic running away he's like holy crap that was an incredible timing right there on that Bane lead, morphing in right on top of those Zerglings. But now, Megamix Bear actually getting a free kill on a Stalker there of a Protec got caught a bit out of a position there. He's got this pylon up here to try and warp units. It looks like Protec getting his four gate just finishing right now. So good timing on that. Something to think about, you guys who are protesting and been trying the, the, the four gate. I still need a lot of work on my build order, but um, I'll continue that later because there's going to be an engagement right here and Protec is getting a little bit ahead of the game with this Stalkers. Needs to fall back behind these arguments, which he is now doing, but there is a proxy pylon from Sorcerer. He is warping in units in the front, and Protec has his own availability for that, but this engagement is going on right here. Illmatic has a ton of Zerglings. They are really keeping the contain on these Stalkers while Protec fires away 
both Protoss players shooting and scooting all over the place. Protech able to whip in three more Stalkers to reinforce that fight. And Sorcery is going to be forced to pull back Illmatic running his Zerglings around the back of the Stalkers. And all the Stalkers for Sorcery are going to go down. So well played in that engagement from Protech and Illmatic. And I know I was trying to talk about something and I can't remember exactly what it is. So maybe when I watch this recast, I will continue whatever that was on my next cast hopefully <laughs> so either way it looks like uh, Illmatic will be cleaning up this proxy pylon from Sorcery and now Sorcery and Megamix Bear are in a bit of trouble here Megamix Bear now has more banelings only three though has some more banelings to try and deal with this massive zerglings of Illmatic so it's gonna come down again to unit placement micro it looks like Protech and Illmatic do have a slight army size advantage but these banelings ho oh, ho that was close right there <laughs> Those Bailings almost just destroyed those Zerglings. Zerglings trying to contain is not going to work with the Bailings sitting back in here. Going to blow up a bunch of Zerglings. One Bailing took out a bunch of them. Protech has just now been forced to micro on those Bailings. He is shooting and scooting away from them. And he took those Bailings out with his Stalker. So now the Zerglings are free to chase the opponent's Stalkers. And there is just back and forth action right now. Super intense. Both armies trying to reinforce. You see Mega Mix Bear getting four more Bailings. So a fairly even exchange again. That first Baneling did killed a ton of Illmatic Zerglings, but then Project was able to shoot down the last couple of Banelings before they could do any real harm. <clears throat> so now they are going to press it right here as Project getting a little bit too far ahead of his Zerglings. Illmatic needs to come in around the front. These Banelings are going to be critical right now. Illmatic has one Baneling of his own and Project trying to shoot these Banelings down, but the Banelings being microed back away from the Stalkers and now the Stalkers forced to actually shoot at the Zealots here in the front and now it's just back and forth it looks like Sorcery actually pushing back right now but now with the high ground advantage from Protech they are occupying this ramp utilizing that high ground keeping them contained and now the armies have been split ladies and gentlemen Sorcery is trying to reinforce it from the back these Zerglings need to try and get around these Stalkers right here so that they can do some real damage Protech does have a superior army it looks like of Stalkers and with the help of these Zerglings it's going to force Sorcery is to pull back with his stalkers into his base. They are going to press Megamix Bear's base and he is in serious trouble because he doesn't have crap to try and defend this. Sorcery has to come try and help. He has no other choice at this point. It's going to come down to Micro. The drones are going to come in here. Need to try and get behind Protex units and peck away, but instead they're going to double back and start mining. And that could be a critical error right now because Sorcery is losing all his stalkers and that is probably going to be it. I'm not sure if the drones assisting in that battle would have completely turned the tides. In fact, I doubt that they would have, but it would have been a little bit more interesting there had the drones tried to get a tried to get a pincher attack with Sorcery's stalkers on there. We would have seen maybe a bit of a different outcome, but it looks like Sorcery actually warping his stalkers in his mineral line and using probes and force fields to try and keep the units out, so he's doing as much as he can to try and stay alive. Megamix Bear is bringing everything he has out here but Sorcery leaves the game. And so that is going to be it. Megmix Bear has left the game. So another crazy super intense matchup sent to me by Protech. And this was against Sorcery and Megamix Bear. Both were well played by both sides. Another excep exceptionally played game by Protech and Illmatic. The Banelings playing cat and mouse in the middle, going back and forth. Megamix Bear actually had a couple of nice Baneling explosion, but it was not enough to earn them the victory. So thank you guys for watching. This is Irie Starcraft and peace out.